Oh, Mike, this is your car. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a 49 uh, Chrysler Traveler, right? Chrysler Traveler, yeah. So I see it driving. I saw cars coming. I thought, oh, that's a cool car. And then I see this young guy behind me. Oh, mm -hmm. mom, mom and dad are probably in the back seat. Right. You had a couple young friends with you, too. Mm -hmm. This is your car. Yes, it is. <laughs> How did you come to own a 49 Chrysler Traveler? Well, um, a friend of mine who uh, lives here in Pottsville, too, and his uncle um, have a few of these cars. And uh, I just worked with them and uh, kind of helped them out with some work and uh, you know, some electrical work and stuff. And, and then I, I just thought, hey, it'd be neat to try, try to work with one of these on my own. And uh, there it is. <laughs> and, and there it is. And what a one to start with. I mean, yeah, I know. This is such a behemoth. It's got to be 4,500 pounds. What do you think? It is. It's, it's, you're right on. It's about 45, <laughs> 4,300 pounds, somewhere around there. But you know, she looks pretty original. Is this original paint for the most part? It is. It's all original. Um, you know, there's uh, all the paint is original. The wood on the roof rack is original. Now, is that, a, is that a factory roof rack? Or yes, it is. Uh, the roof was actually made by Chris Craft, uh, the oh, boat company. Yeah, sure. Because um, they knew how to do the curve at, at the, the bows, end there. The bows, right? Yep. So uh, they, they made that. They teamed up with Chrysler to do that. Is that what kind of made this a traveler? Yes, it was. That and the leather seats distinguish this from a Chrysler Windsor. I see. Um, it's, you know, traveling, putting the luggage on the yeah, roof yeah. rack and stuff like that. So leather seats, and indeed it has leather seats. It does. Yes, it does. Yeah. And uh, it's quite, quite roomy inside, a lot what, of chrome. What a great dash. I mean, very art deco, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that the early plastic or Bakelite or, or, or whatever that is. But, right. but Yeah, it's Bakelite. What a look. A uh, three on a tree? Uh, it's it's what they call a fluid drive. Okay. Um, it's basically kind of like a like an automatic with a clutch. Interesting. So yep. what what's the shift pattern? Uh, the shift is uh, reverse is back and up like back and up. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> easy to remember. Yeah, you're right. Easy. And um, the first is forward and up, and then second and third is down. All you have to do to shift between second and third is let your foot off the gas. And, oh, really? Yep. So you don't need the clutch, or you do need the clutch? No, or? For second and third, you just let your foot off the gas for a few seconds. And shift. Wow. Yep. Man, original interior. It's yes, in, it is. In surprisingly good shape. And, yep. You know, and in back, it's it's in excellent shape because. It's quite roomy. <laughs> Man, it's it, it, it's a, it's a, the living room back here. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, and again, it was meant for for traveling. Yeah. You know, it was meant for uh, you know taking taking that trip to the beach or whatever. You know. Yeah. Well, and, and uh, even the the window cranks and the door handles and stuff, very very Art Deco. Mm -hmm. What yep. a great car. And yeah. then I guess this is all that's all hand uh, wood grained. It's metal actually, but it's been hand wood grained. Right. Yep. Wow. Yep. That's like that. Very cool. A nice sloping lines all the way to the back. Very yeah, 49 feel to it. Right down to the bumper, yep. So are you thinking of restoring this? Are you going to drive it like it is? Or what do you... Well, I drive it around now, and it's it's also in the process of restoring it. There's some paint work I have to do. Um, you know, there's some things I have to touch up. Um, they, and, uh, you know, the, some pitting chrome. Mm -hmm. uh, like this bumper here is a little little scuffed up. But, but you uh, got time. Oh, yeah. Time's I do have time, yes. <laughs> time is definitely on your side. In yes, this it is. So cool. Well, uh, what powers it? What's the engine? Uh, the engine's a flathead six. Let's have a look at it. All right. So there's the flathead six in there. <laughs> and a serious hood <laughs> a in. thud, yep. <laughs> the old springs. Man. Yep. Now, has she been rebuilt? It has. About a year ago, uh, it was rebuilt, and it was a very good job of doing it. Um, you know, all new hoses and stuff like that in there. Runs like a champ? Yes, it does. A couple pumps on the gas, it starts right up, mm -hmm. and uh, it idles really nice. It's, it really runs good. Even with the six-volt system, she starts up okay? Yes, it does. Yep. Wow. The old six-volt in there. So, is it fun to drive? It is. It's a very fun car to drive. It's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a challenge sometimes when you get... You know, spots where these cars weren't really meant to go. <laughs> these on days. Newer roads and stuff, but no, it's it's really fun and it's it's a great thing to work on. Do you get looks like crazy? You know I do. And I get horn beeps and looks <laughs> and everything and thumbs up and stuff I would imagine. Yes. All over the place wow. I get that I get that. And have you been to the Pottsville Cruise before? I have with the the friend I've worked with. Yeah. I, I have been to it on road with him and um, But you'll be driving your own. I will be driving my own this year, yep. <laughs> 49 Chrysler Traveler, you're yep. a traveling man. All right, thank you. I admire it, Mike.